Welcome to The Last Word, brought to you by Montgomery Bank. I'm David Jenkins, joined by Chris Token Popes. And Chris, a lot of stuff going on in sports. Mm -hmm. Not much locally. Not much, but I have a question for you. Okay. How do you feel about furry little rodents? Um, I don't like moles. I, I, that's a furry rodent. Val, I, 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 I try to kill them in my okay. yard. So what about North Dakota? Well, what about North Dakota? I don't have a feeling. I've never been to North Dakota. It's above South Dakota. I know, but I don't know anything about North Dakota. There's some squirrels in North Dakota. Oh, some squirrels. Some squirrels in North Dakota. I don't know if they are well, I like their natural habitat or what in North Dakota. I like I but, like those furry rodents. But yeah, I'm like you. I've never been to North Dakota, but there are some squirrels in North Dakota for the Midwest Pines Regional. And that's about it really going on this this around our way as far as sports go. And and that's a big deal for for Charles and they've made it, you know, eight straight times now. It's their their home away from home, it seems like, in the summer and uh, our preview for that for that tournament, I like what uh, Brent Shipman kinda did with that and kind of the questions he asked was, you know, they're there. They they're really familiar with that, but it's getting to that next step. That World Series has always been kind of a, a thorn. They've been there twice in the last eight years. Now that's getting to the regional. I'd say that's a success. But no, you're not there for the regional. You're there to win a World Series. Right. And you know they went to the World Series last mm -hmm. year and, and did well. Uh, but you know, I, obviously you've got to get through the regional. Mm -hmm. You know, and the regional's tough. A lot mm -hmm. of tough teams. You know, it's been in Charleston a few times, mm -hmm. and, and th those teams they bring down. You know, there's some really, really good talent on there. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it's a tough, it's a, it's tough to get to the World Series. I mean, you're one of the, you know, last eight teams in the Midwest. Mm -hmm. So it, I mean, it's it's tough. And, and I noticed that uh, you have some some qualms about this here tournament. Uh, what, what's your pickle with with the uh, regional? First off, I mean, I, I like the idea of you have pool play. You mm -hmm. know, they have pool play guaranteed three games. Yep. I, I like that. But then you go to a single elimination tournament. After pool play. All right. After pool mm -hmm. play, the top four teams go into a single elimination tournament. Mm -hmm. I disagree with that wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. because Tell us why. One pitcher, mm -hmm. one pitcher can shut down a, a, team, a better team. And if you, you know, your, your better team is going to be able to, you know, anybody can shut down anybody in one given game. Your better team, you're going to get your better team out of there on a double elimination. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, I, I just think it should be a double elimination, not a single elimination final final round. Extend the tournament an extra day if you mm -hmm. have to or whatever. But, you know, just make it a double elimination, not a single elimination. Can I make the argument as no, no matter what can't. kind of format it is, the best team has to win those games? It, they, they should, but mm -hmm. you and I both know when it comes to baseball that even the worst teams in the world can throw out a pitcher mm -hmm. to shut, some, uh, shut somebody down who's a lot better. Mm -hmm. and, but it, that's why the World Series is played in seven games and not one game. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's why they had the argument about the one-game playoff in the, uh, you know, in the wild card because you know, anybody, can, anybody can win that. The best team doesn't necessarily win that. Mm -hmm. And if you're, if you're the Midwest Plains Regional, you would want your best team going to the World Series because they would have a chance to win that, and that represents you. Mm -hmm. So I think that... I mean, in, in my mind, I think it needs to be a double elimination. Mm -hmm. now, I'm not very sure how Minner feels about it, but, I mean, in any format, in my opinion, is, hey, this is what you have to do, win it. I mean, I, I get what you're saying, I understand that, but, but at the same time, I, I, you have to be, I know you have to set up pitching, and baseball is different than most any, mm -hmm. every, any sport, really, when it comes to a tournament style, but... I, I just think that no matter what, you have to but, win that you win right. the game that's in but front of you. But plus the quality of play. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you look at it, if you, if you play, if you throw your starters, you know, one, two, three, and you're in your because you want to get to the to the final four. So if you throw your your starters one, two, mm -hmm. and three in your pool play, then you have, you know, the, then you have that Sunday where well, you're going to have to go your four and five starters. So you could have conceivably two number five mm -hmm. starters. Your fifth best pitcher on each team pitching that championship game, mm -hmm. and you know that that, that kind of hurts the quality of play. I think. It does. It does. Um, you know, but then again, you know, if you're playing a double elimination term, there's not there's no reason. I mean, you could be facing five. Mm -hmm. You know, your fifth pitcher, fifth best against your, their fifth best mm -hmm. in, in a double elimination. I just like the fact that you have you know you have a little bit of leeway there where. You know, one good pitcher is not going to you know dominate the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I understand that. I understand. And the squirrels are playing, and I know one team that's not playing. Uh, it, it hasn't been playing really. Uh, and, and we we know of a team here in in Sykes and the Sykes and Legion team uh, post uh, one what was it? one one fourteen. One fourteen. Mm -hmm. How could I ever forget that? Anyway, right post here if you need to. Oh, gotcha. Okay, post one fourteen uh, did not field enough players to to play in the Legion District Tournament uh, last week. Uh, second time in the last three years that's happened, and that's it's not been a, a rare occurrence that that's happened with this team before in the past. Um, you know, in my opinion, I mean, why even 
why play a season? I mean, have regular season games to not play in the district tournament. I don't. I mean, I know you have to have a certain number of players, and getting players out in the summertime mm-hmm. can be hard for some teams. I, I and that's the problem. I think it's not the whatever the administration of the Legion team, the coaches. I don't think that's the problem at all. But again, why even go out for a team? Why play for a team if you're not going to play for what you're playing for? If, right. you, if you get me, I have three words: shut it down, <laughs> please. Fourth, fourth time in the last seven years they've not had enough players playing district tournament. No, shut it down. So, I mean, yeah. well, so if you can't find players, shut mm-hmm. it down. They're, you're wasting money. You're wasting, you know, you're wasting a lot of time mm-hmm. of these coaches, and it's not the coach's fault. Mm-hmm. You know, Senior Bay Ruth has honestly killed Legion baseball, mm-hmm. and we've talked about that in a previous show. It's killed it. Um, you, you know, your best players, you know, your best players are going off to play Senior Bay Ruth, mm-hmm. or they're playing prospect ball. Mm-hmm. Um, you, can, you know, used to, used to, you know, for for how many years had, had they filled the tournament mm-hmm. team for? I mean, and, and not been interrupted yeah. with anything. And now all of a sudden you don't have enough. And as long as there's a team over in Charleston that's drawing the best player, mm-hmm. Sykes is not going to get them. Yeah. And, you know, unless Michael Minner decides he wants to come over and do Sykes and Legion, mm-hmm. which he's not going to do, yeah. you know, it, it's not going to happen. So I, I say shut it down. And I know that the people with the Legion aren't going to want to hear that, but you can't, I mean, even when they do have teams, they're not that competitive. So what's the chances of Sykes and Legion turning into a senior Babe Ruth team? I don't think it would matter because I think still Charleston is. I mean, you well, know, if they turn that into a senior Babe Ruth team, they'd have to keep those players in that dis- in that so-called district, correct? Right, but you know, still, I mean, I, I don't know how they're going to want to do that. No. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be the interest. I mean, first off, you have to, you have to get someone to to come up with a senior mm-hmm. Babe Ruth team. I mean, you have to get someone to sponsor it and, and everything. So you got because the Legion can't, you know, mm-hmm. Legion won't sponsor a senior Babe Ruth team. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're gonna have to come up with some sponsors or something like that, and then you're gonna have to come up with someone to coach it who can uh, attract the kids. Because there's always, you know, from what I understand, you can always sign a player out of your district mm-hmm. that you know, okay, that they go to play somewhere else, and you know, those kids are saying, well, we're gonna say, well, I don't want to play for you guys. Yeah. I want to, I want to play for them. So yeah. um, I don't know if it would work. I mm-hmm. really don't. I think it's too close. You know, and, and Senior Bay Ruth is, is watered down in a lot of areas. If you, know, it is. You know, I mean, especially you know, here, I, th- I think it is. I right. Mean, I mean, there's teams everywhere. Yeah. Um, but and it hadn't hurt, you know, it hasn't hurt them. But yet, for some reason, nobody wants to play Legion. So I don't. I, I say shut the Legion down. If they want to try a Senior Bay Bruce program here, that's great. Mm-hmm. But for Legion, I I, I think it, the time has come and gone. For now, I think if they want Sykes and if if they want summer baseball in Sykes, they're going to have to go into the Senior Bay Bruce. They just they won't be able because you're going to have a situation where they're just going to come up with no players at district time and not play for anything. I mean, what, right. they're the games they played. What, what I mean, they stand for nothing now. I mean, right. they're just nothing. Well, and, and senior Babe Ruth too. You don't have the restrictions. You don't have to have twelve mm-hmm. players to start yeah. the tournament with. And I understand the I understand the, the reasoning behind having the twelve mm-hmm. players. But you know you don't have to have that with senior Babe Ruth. Mm-hmm. So um, you know the, the rules are, are a little bit lighter. But um, shut it down. You know, come back in a few years and see if it. You know, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. They say. So <laughs> you know, maybe maybe you shut it down for a few years and people will want it. You know, because things things do run in cycles. Maybe senior Babe Ruth mm-hmm. will be take be on a, a, a decline or something, and, mm-hmm. and you, you try to pick it back up. But they should shut it down. There, there's no point in even doing it now, because, mm-hmm. um, like I said, if you're not going to play for anything at the end. Then why do it? Now I know that they're not all local, but remember there were 14 senior Babe Ruth teams in that state tournament game in that state mm-hmm. tournament at Charleston. That's and I four, think and, 11 and of them were local. 11 of them were local, and that, that tells you something right there. That and last you know, five years ago there was like four, maybe yeah, something like maybe that. Maybe four and, or five. And then you've always had you've always had your Legion teams. Mm-hmm. You know, you've always had your strong teams, and even your strong teams in Pemiscott County. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, they've they're they're really been. You know, a lot of their players are really you know going to Senior Bay Ruth mm-hmm. and, and and stuff. So you you really lost some players there. And, mm-hmm. and and I think people you know people see the success of the squirrels and they want that. They want to you get that. And you do that in Senior Bay Ruth. You don't do that in Legion. Absolutely. And then, like I said, we saying that Senior Bay Ruth has killed Legion. When that's not in any way saying that we don't approve of what's going on over there oh, in Charleston. Well. That's just a testament to their success. I started saying kids no, want yeah. to play for a winning Absolutely. successful team. And and yeah. has produced one year in and Absolutely. Year out. I mean, you can't you can't knock anything mm-hmm. that the squirrels have done. I mean, they they have. They take a lot of the best players from the area. Uh, they get them noticed by colleges mm-hmm. and, and all over the country. You know, because they they play in the World Series. Mm-hmm. They play. They're they're playing in North Dakota yeah. for goodness sakes. So I mean, you know, they, they play all over the place. They're getting those kids noticed, and, and that's a great thing. And mm-hmm. um, you know, Senior Bay, you know, Senior Bay Bruce is kind of making the Legion suffer a little bit. But you know, there's really, I mean, Legion. I mean, I don't know what I don't know what to tell them. You know what I always say, Jinx. Get better. 
That's all. Yeah. I mean, just get better. That's nothing you can do. You just yeah. gotta, gotta face with what's in front just, of you. Get just, better. The only way it's gonna work is if you get a core group of kids. You know, 10, 11, 12 mm-hmm. kids, a core group, mm-hmm. and keep those kids together from young on up, uh, and and you know, th- and not have them go play at other places mm-hmm. and everything, and stay away from the prospect because you can't be a dual. If you play the prospect ball, you can't play mm-hmm. without a special, without a special okay. I think you, yeah. know, I think there has to be some paperwork signed or something, and so I, you know, I don't know. And then you know, I think Scott County has a junior legion team. Or Scott County's got a junior and a, a senior, senior legion team. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. and so that's going to be, you know, that's that's another option mm-hmm. for them too. So, you know. Yeah, it's it's one of those deals where you just, I mean, you you kind of handcuffed a little bit mm-hmm. as as far as a coach or whatever, but you know, that, it's just one of those deals. I don't know what that I, you just can't can't really combat against what's going on over in Charleston, and hey, rightfully so. It's it's and, gonna and hopefully hopefully they get to the World Series, which I think yeah. would be a, yeah. an amazing another amazing feat because you know, like I said, they they were there last year. Mm-hmm. You know, they could they could make some noise, and they almost made the. Uh, Almost made the, the nearly final, made the, the final uh, the final bracket game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, That's another pool play, play slash single elimination. Is it single elimination I, to get out of there? Honestly, I I, now, I say that, but I don't I, I think, think that it's it, double elimination. I think it is double elimination, which is weird. Why would a regional? Why would the state tournament be double elimination? Regional be single. World Series because they didn't they didn't talk to us. That's the way to do it. That's true. That's true. Charles Barker would have known how to do it. Probably he knows how to do everything. That's right. Golf club. That's right. Well, next week uh, we are off. Next week we will. Somebody's got to take a vacation or something. I don't know. Going to the beach. Somebody's got to you know goof off. But anyway, we will not have a show next week. Uh, The following week, however, we will be gearing up for football. We will be talking nothing but football. Football practice starts August fourth. Little baby Jesus. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for football. But anyway, uh, we'll be previewing some teams. We'll be talking a little bit about some preseason, just drumming up some interest for preseason, just asking some different questions and, and you know, just kind of getting everybody geared up for football. So, Jinx, will you be there? I will be there. Thank goodness, football. Ready, set, hut. Beach. Nobody needs a beach. Yeah, well, you know, got to get some gotta get some sun. Uh, you just use a tanning bed. If you haven't read his column, read his column. New, newest uh, called Sarcasm Du Jour by, by David Jenkins. He, he tans now. Keep he the, tans now. Keep the biscuits in the basket. Gentlemen. He tans now. I don't know. You can't tell, but he tans. No, you can't tell at all. But keep the biscuits in the baskets, gentlemen. Mm-hmm. And with that, we will see you guys in two weeks, and we'll talk some football. See you later.